Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is a requested video on how to remove press on nails. So this one is with using the nail guards and if you want to see how I use the nail guards under them then I will link that down below. That was the before and this is the after. Yes, my nails look so ratchet because they're full of like little bits of acrylic that I didn't soak off because I am lazy as fuck. But anyway, ignore that. All you're going to need is a cuticle pusher. I prefer to use a wooden one for this particular situation right here. You just want to go ahead and start peeling off your nails by pushing the cuticle pusher just the slanted edge around, right around the perimeter of the press on. By doing this all you're doing is loosening the glue and loosening those nail guards. I mean sometimes as you can see you will have a bit of trouble and the reason for this is because I obviously put the nail guard on which was a slightly too small so the glue actually stuck to my natural nail as well. I mean it weren't painful or anything it just took that little bit longer you will see in the next little bit that they come off so much easier. So you will have the little nail guard on there. If you do apply them over acrylics that will all completely just come off in one piece but all you have to do is just pull it off and yes look at all the junk in the trunk I mean I know honey but what we're gonna do is go ahead and take care of that later so just ignore that. Oh, nearly spiked my nail off so I come in with the correct end and as you see that one came off so much easier and then just go ahead and peel off the nail guard as well. The reason my nails look like that underneath is because like I said in the beginning of the video I had acrylic nails on but didn't completely soak them off. You just want to go ahead and remove all of the press on nails and if you are careful you can totally do this so that you can reuse them so be gentle I mean this method is really easy and gentle so that's why I like to use it if you are reusing them just pointing out the black bit on my nail here it's just from the end of the cuticle pusher I just had a bit of something on there I think it was just sharpie or something So we're just taking off that final one and then we're going to come in with a white buffing block. The reason I like to use a white buffing block is just because this is the most gentle method of actually filing your nails and removing anything off them, any ridges or stuff like that. And I just go ahead and buff my nails until I've got rid of all the sticky residue from the nail guards. You can go ahead and use a nail file as well but I just find that this method is so much more gentler if you're not wanting to cause any damage at all. So this can be quite a long process, not long, maybe 5 to 10 minutes just to make sure that you're doing everything correctly and thoroughly but please take that time because that means that your nails will still be in perfecto condition at the end which is the whole reason of using the nail guards and the press-ons in the first place so you do not want to defeat the object okay? So once I have removed everything I just go ahead and wipe off all the dust with some sanitizer and then this is the final result. You're ready again to either go and apply your acrylics or apply some more press on nails whatever you prefer you could even just paint your own nails. You choose you the boss okay. But for me, I'm going to be going ahead and applying this absolutely stunning Galaxy set. If the video is already up, I will link it in the description box down below. But if not, you will see it coming, so look out for that. And as you can see, I'm just showing you here that the nails are still completely intact, ready to use again. Just get a little storage box to store them in and keep them safe. Thank you so much for watching guys, I really hope this video helped you out and I will see you in the next one, bye!